In this video, we're going to look at problem number 17. And we have three limits here that we want to evaluate. Uh, the first limit is the limit as x goes to 2 from the right of 1 over x minus 2. The second limit is the limit as x goes to 2 from the left of 1 over x minus 2. And then finally, part C is the limit as x goes to 2 of 1 over x minus 2. All right, so let's take a look at part A. And uh, what I say sometimes when you're evaluating a limit, the very first thing you should look at is, well, can you just plug in the value for x? And if I try to plug in the value for x, I get division by 0. That's bad. And now we have a little bit of a problem in this uh, because there's no trick I can perform here to get rid of this x minus 2 on the bottom. We're kind of stuck with that x minus 2. And so there are really two things that can happen when you have division by 0. First, if you have division by 0, the first thing that could be happening in that function is you have a hole in the graph. And the way that you would know that you have a hole in the graph is if you were to have an x minus 2, a factor of x minus 2, on the top of the fraction as well. Now, you might have to factor or do something fancy to find that x minus 2 on the top. But if you can, then there's a hole in the graph. If there's nothing on top that will cancel out that x minus 2 on the bottom, then you know that you have a vertical asymptote. Okay, and since what's on top here is just 1, and there's nothing I can really do to get rid of this x minus 2, then I know that that x minus 2 is producing a vertical asymptote at the point 2. Okay, now that I know that it's a vertical asymptote, well, what happens at vertical asymptotes? Vertical asymptotes means that the graph is going up to positive infinity or down to negative infinity. And now my only real question on this problem at this point, now that I've determined, yes, in fact, this is a vertical asymptote, is which way is it going? Is it going up or is it going down? Uh, so I need to answer that question. Well, in part A, I'm approaching this point x from the right side. So if I'm approaching from the right side, then... I know that the numbers that I'm getting close to, they're coming from the right, in other words, from the positive direction. So I'm taking numbers that are just slightly bigger than the number 2, uh, like 2.1 is slightly bigger than the number 2. So if I took something slightly bigger than the number 2, would I get something, would that make this fraction a positive number or a negative number? Well, let's see. If I take something slightly bigger than 2 and I subtract 2 from it, then I'm going to get something that's just a little bit positive. And 1 divided by a positive number is a positive number. So I know that this thing's either going to positive or negative infinity, and I just said that these numbers have to be positive. So this must be going to positive infinity. Let's look at part B. In part B, it's the exact same problem, except this time I'm approaching 2 from the left-hand side. So that means I need to take a number just slightly smaller than 2. If you want to use a real number, use something like 1.9 or 1.99. But for me, it's good enough to just say it's a little bit smaller than 2. If I take something that's a little bit smaller than 2 and I subtract 2, I get a negative number. And 1 divided by a negative number is negative. Since I know that this is a vertical asymptote at 2, it's going to positive infinity or negative infinity. And I just figured out that that must be negative infinity. OK? Part C, the limit as x goes to 2 of 1 over x minus 2. Well, this is only going to exist if these two exist and they agree. They do exist, but they don't agree. So I can say that this one does not exist. And that's how we compute whether a limit coming at a vertical asymptote is positive infinity or negative infinity. 